How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. come home and I'm not there. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. That's what I figured. back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. 
Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. 